Hello everybody, Pastor Pena here. It is Monday morning, the start of the week. You got this. Start this week off right here with me. <laughs> Thank you for being here. The sun is shining in Texas. There's a little clouds in the sky, and I thank God that he opened my eyes this morning. I thank God that he put me in your path, that we may learn something together, that we may take God's word, simplify, then apply. That we may take God's word, simplify, then apply. You know, uh, whenever I used to work for this certain company, I'm not going to name a name, uh, we would have end-of-month dinners, and end-of-month dinners and And we would do certain things, and we would eat, and they would bring us food. And this particular end-of-month dinner was towards the end of the year, and uh, the supervisor got up with a little gift and said, I would like to recognize somebody for all their hard work and dedication this year, and it really meant a lot to me. This person did so much, so much good work, and we we were smiling, everybody was looking around. And well, this supervisor named another supervisor, at, to receive the gift. And, and that supervisor named another supervisor. And that supervisor named another supervisor. At the end of the dinner, there were nothing but supervisors just patting each other on the back on how great they worked. And, and uh, the employees needed to say were angry. <laughs> and so today is a do it for the glory of God. Coffee with Christ. Mm. That is good. (laughs) Do it for the glory of God. Coffee with Christ. You know, we get caught up in that trap. Uh, We're trying to please men rather than please God. And uh, a lot of times we get just uh, destroyed because that certain person is not as pleased as we would like them to be. or, Or how we, whenever we try something that doesn't work, Instead of pleasing somebody, we let somebody down. But when you please people, you get, yes, a pat on the back. You did a great job. You feel good for about five seconds. And then they expect you to do even more. They expect you to do even more. Well, Jesus talked about pleasing men uh, instead of pleasing God. And Jesus says in John chapter 5, verse 44, he says this. How can you believe since you accept glory from one another, but do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? How can you believe in God when you're too busy accepting, trying to accept glory from each and every person, except you're not trying to seek glory from God? Nowadays, you could say that we are worried about hurting everyone's feelings but God's. We're worried about hurting everyone's feelings but God's. And Jesus said, we're worried about trying to please one another than we are trying to please God. So how can we believe in a God that we don't even try to please or to honor or to to bring glory through us? And, and you know, one of the prayers I, I pray is that, Lord, please let this video bring you glory. Let this video bring you glory and by my actions, by, by my motivations, and, and by my desires, let it be, let those be ready to please you. Let those be willing to please you. Let those be wanting to please you. My actions, my motivations, and my desires, our actions, our motivations, our desires should be those to try to seek to please God and for God to get all the glory and those are, are those are eternal rewards in heaven. When we try to please men, either they're not pleased or we get accolades or we get a pat on the back for five, ten seconds and then they want us to do even more. They want us to do even more to please them. And the more we please people, the more we think that we have them under our control. The more we please people, the more we think that we are playing a psychological game with them. With them. And, and we're really not. We're really not. All they care about is themselves. So I urge you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, examine your heart, examine your heart and know that the ultimate goal is to bring God glory. The ultimate goal is to bring God glory. 
Don't be one of those people that are trying to please men. Don't be one of those people that are trying to please family members and, and they treat you like garbage and you're trying to please your, your boss and he wants more and more and more and more because the more you please him, the more he pleases his bosses and they get all the raises and bonuses and they keep pushing you and pushing you and pushing you. Bring God glory. Make that your ultimate goal today. From now on, on, I thank you for being here. I thank you for listening. I pray that you share this message to somebody who needs to hear it. And I thank you so much. God willing, I'll be here on another edition of Coffee with Christ.